Something that you would see from content creators of any sort is that they have a voice to them. They have a certain style that makes what they make their own. Vicious516, otherwise known as Ryan Murphy, is a good example of a person using their own creative voice to stand out. Ryan Murphy's body of work is incredibly varied. So even though I'm only really taking a big look at some of the more horror-themed things that he's made, keep in mind he's also touched upon comedy as well. Ryan Murphy started on the whole creepypasta trend around the same time as The Little Fears. He would read some stories of his own writing, as well as a few that others have written. There are two things about Ryan Murphy's work that really makes them stand out to me. The first being the atmosphere he gives them. Ryan Murphy is a resident of eastern Massachusetts, good old New England. New England is a shoreside area, a lot of nautical bits in their culture, and with the Salem Witch Trials, there's also a bit of a cult and traditionalism as well. Ryan Murphy incorporates all of these feelings very well into his work. Even the climate of New England is given personality through his stories, whether it's the blazing, humid heat of the summer or the frigid winter. The second major aspect of Ryan Murphy's work is surrealism. Surrealism was started from taking imagery and ideas from the mind in a pure form. This gives it the dreamlike state that you think of when you hear the word surreal. And that definitely describes a lot of Ryan Murphy's best work. Videos like Is It Frogs are very clearly stepping into the surreal territory. There isn't really any major structure to it in terms of plot, but it works because of just how weird it is, how dreamlike it is. It feels like a nightmare that you would have. Is it frogs? 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 He features pigs a lot. Now, a fear of pigs is not necessarily anything new, nor is it anything to be mocked. I can see how they're scary. I don't find them scary, but I can see how they're scary. He really portrays the fear that you can get from these pigs in his videos like Pig Day or She is the Pig. And even the more humor-oriented, put the wig on the pig. Ryan Murphy also does a lot of shared work with Neil Ciceriga, so if you like Neil's type of content, Ryan's might be right up your alley. The main conclusions of this video are as follows. Number one, having important themes that resonate with you, I believe, helps make uh, it resonate with others a lot more easily. Number two, Ryan Murphy's work is definitely something you should check out for yourself. Even, of course, the more humor-focused ones are well worth your time. Eat the poop. Why do you want me to eat this poop? It's just poop. I don't want to eat this poop. It's just poop. And even though some of his earlier works have some technical issues, they're still very worth watching. Number three. 
Ryan Murphy, this is directed to you. I don't know if you're watching this, and I hope you are, but please, if it's possible, I would love to see more content from you. It's absolutely amazing what you do. It's a major influence on me personally. If you're too busy and you can't upload on your channel that much, that's fine, that's understandable. Thank you, Ryan Murphy. Cause it's cake time. We gonna have a cake. It's not frogs. It's a toad. Worms. Wait, what?